The Springfield Museum is home for a place to controversial Dr. Seuss mural. 22 News reporter Mac Karen found out what happened to the old mural. Well, Public Relations Director Karen Fisk would not answer our questions, and 22 News was not allowed inside the museum. But we found out that that old mural is still in the museum, just out of sight. It's been covered up. They put a mural on top of a mural. Chairman of Peter Pan Bus Lines, Peter Picnelli, went to the museum to see the new mural. He said the old one is still there, covered up by the new one. Picnelli and restaurateur Andy Yi have offered to donate to the museum and hang the old mural at either the Fort Restaurant, Union Station, or the Basketball Hall of Fame. I'm disappointed that a couple of people who were offended by it and now we've cowed down to their request. I, I think that that's a shame. It's political correctness gone awry. You know, there are over 100,000 libraries in the United States all have this book in it. You know, are they going to take those books out of the library? The controversy centered on this Chinese caricature of a man with a hat eating noodles with chopsticks. It was removed after three people called it a jarring racial stereotype. Andy Yi is a first generation Chinese American. What it is is what it is. I can't change their thought process. They, they're going to do what's best for Dr. Seuss and their brands, and I understand that. And if it's, it has to eliminate an Asian caricature on there, and that's their decision to do so. I'm disappointing at it. It's not clear if Dr. Seuss Enterprises would be willing to sell the mural. McNelly told 22 News he's talked with the museum's board of trustees. The new mural was painted by the amazing world of Dr. Seuss art director John Simpson, and the design was supervised by Dr. Seuss Enterprises. Matt Karen, 22 News.